Welcome back. We're still here with Mark Morial, Dr. Monty Perry, and David Webb. We're talking about the president, and we're now talking about this birth certificate issue. For the last two years, maybe even three years, before he was even president, people were raising questions about the president's citizenship. And since he's been elected president, the questions have lingered to the point that recently the president had to come out and show his long uh, birth certificate, the full birth certificate, the official Hawaiian birth certificate. I think the whole thing is absurd. I think it's intellectually disingenuous. Those that raise it uh, have sort of a veiled racism, and it's a distraction. It's a weapon of mass distraction when we ought to be talking about jobs, we ought to be talking about schools, we ought to be talking about what we need for the future of this nation. It, it's become a sideshow. No one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? <laughs> what really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac? Your friends are raising these questions. I mean, you, I'm saying that because you, you remember yeah, I don't Tupac. Know about my friends, well, well, but you, you, you are where they are. Okay, all let, in the same let, room. let me let me say this. There are for every president, if we go back in history, fringe elements that go after them on something. All right, whether it's Bush monkey picture, Reagan this, Clinton this, whatever. Hmm. The birthers are out there on the fringes. The one thing I'm happy about, if you want to call it. To be clear, it, you don't question the president's I don't citizenship. Qu I don't question the president's citizenship, but it's now, frankly, except for the extreme elements who are out there off the table. The one good thing about what Donald Trump did, this whole whatever did, was it brought it out and now it's been shown and now we can get back to the policies because I'm focused on the policies. And as far as the extreme elements, let me tell you something, I have a hard time calling people racist and throwing that word around easily unless their specific action that tells me they're a racist. Huh. I, well, and, well, and, I, and that's, I mean, that's I, a problem I, I have with jump, what, not just the white-black dynamic, but with any dynamic. Okay. No, no. No, I mean, it, I think it was patently offensive, and it, I agree. It was absurd. It was ridiculous. Clearly, it was established long ago that he's a citizen. And it, and this, and, and, it, and it smacked of racism because it's consistent with this idea that we're always being questioned, right, that our legitimacy, that our skill, I mean, what went along with it were these attacks on his academic record that were completely unfounded, right? right? And so it was his transcripts. And, and, they want to see his transcripts. And um, the, 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 the dynamic that that creates is this kind of collective sense of frustration and humiliation. It's like even when you're the president of the right. United States, right, you still experience this kind of questioning. Um, and, and, and so uh, so for me, it was an infuri it was infuriating, but it also revealed something about actually the persistence of, a, of but race. You know, but you know what? This infuriation should have happened in May of 2000 with the Boston Globe and the Washington Post and Bush and, K and the Gore's grades which were actually put out by them when they were running for president when they were though. running when they were running and no and after and also same thing with John Kerry in the Boston Globe in 2005 when they obtained transcripts and put them out confidential transcripts my point with that is you cannot continue to say that this is a one off and one only no no but it wasn't just no, 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 no. for transcripts the, le the, the request the was not simply for transcripts the suggest he said that he assumed that he was an inferior an inferior student, notwithstanding the fact that he was editor in chief of the Harvard well, Law Review. Okay, but don't, 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 don't change this. There's no question that he but was an the student. But this is the This is when you have someone who is a self-proclaimed billionaire, Donald Trump, right? A well-known business person, someone that had a degree of respect, has a top television show, lending his name uh, to a campaign and leveraging the media like a P.T. Barnum. You know, we don't need sideshows. We don't need political entertainment. It's nice to laugh at for a minute or two. But when it dominates the airwaves, it takes away from what I believe most people in this nation expect of in public discourse. Mark Morial, Dr. Monty Perry, David Webb, thank you all so much for being here. Thanks, Mark. And if you have a particular topic that you'd like to see us cover, email us at ourworld at blackenterprise.com. Stay right with us. We'll be right back. That's a wrap for us here. Don't forget to visit us at the website, blackenterprise.com slash ourworld. You can fan us on Facebook at Our World with Black Enterprise. And you can follow me on Twitter at Mark Lamont Hill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.